Would you ever consider sharing your billing rate breakdown with your customers? I think you should. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm about to get controversial. Welcome to 3 Minute Thursdays. 3 Minute Thursdays is my web series where I share the successes and failures that I've had over 15 years of being in the security guard industry to help you take your company to the next level that much quicker. This week, I have a pretty short video for you, I think. This video is going to be about something that I wish I would have done uh, when I had my security guard company, just to test the results. I'm probably about to get annihilated in the comments section, but let's start the timer. So as I said at the beginning of the video, I think security guard companies should really think about sharing the breakdowns of their billing rates. I know most, if not everybody out there is like, Courtney, are you crazy? Well, just hear me out first. I think that one of the major reasons that the security guard industry struggles is because we're not able to uh, attract the talent necessary to provide the high quality service that security guard companies and their customers would like. And it's hard to attract better officers without good billing rates that allow you to pay good wage rates but buyers are hesitant to give good billing rates. So the question is, why? I could be wrong, but I think one of the problems is that security guard service buyers are not in tune with what goes into uh, your billing rate. FUDA, workers' compensation, SUDA, general liability, background checks, uniforms, drug testing, cell phone, officer reports, Let's take a minute and put yourself in your buyer's shoes. If someone came to you as a security services buyer with a $15 per hour billing rate, I think that many buyers think that security officers, uh, the security officers pay would be the lion's share of that rate. So think back to the first time you figured out all of the things that have to be baked into that billing rate. No, 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 that can't be right. That, that, that's impossible. We, we only make what? I'm pretty sure that you were as dumbfounded as I was. So I don't think that many buyers understand the reality of security guard services billing rates. Or worse yet, if the buyer knows what the billing rate is and what the officer's wage rate is, they might just be thinking that you're this greedy company owner who won't pay your employees a better rate because you're more interested in making it rain. Now compare those two situations to an informed buyer who understands what all of your overhead is and knows that you're only making seven or 8% of that billing rate. I think that becomes a much different conversation than what you're used to having when you're submitting a proposal or looking for a, a billing rate increase. With that being said, if you currently share your billing rate details with your customers, I'd love to hear about the results. Or if you think I've lost my mind, I'd love to hear the reasons why. Either way, please leave your comments below. So that's it for this week, and I really hope this video got you thinking. But before you start roasting me in the comments section, please feel free to click the like button. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe because you would really be helping me out. Thanks everybody. See you next week and stay safe.